Namaste. And welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. I'm Anjali. Hum ache hey. Kai se hey up. And today we're going to be doing Anjali and I's favorite thing to do is food. watch food, especially delicious Indian food. And this is from the best ever food review show. And we've done a lot of his stuff and he, I, he tries some of the most interesting things yeah. and um, things that I've never seen or heard of. And then some stuff we have seen and heard of, um, but it always looks delicious and he's been all over, I think, different parts of India. So this one is Indian Mega Food Record Breaking Dosa, 250 Egg Omelette, and more in Mumbai. So we've done some other stuff about Mumbai. So yeah. This will be exciting to see the record breaking dosa, right? Yeah. All right, let's start it up. He's cooked down the onion and tomato, and he's gonna kind of push them out, and then he's gonna crack just tons and tons of eggs in here. I mean, if you're gonna wow. cook for a lot of people at once, this is the way to do it. Today on the Best Ever Food Review Show, we are going on another fun food adventure. This time, we are in Mumbai, India. This city is home to some of the most gigantic Indian food I have ever seen. Today we are hunting down some food on a scale like you have never seen before. Let's do it. Today we're doing it big in Mumbai, India. Starting off with the world's biggest dosa. Wow. It's a little unwieldy. Mm -hmm. Then India's most gigantic non-veg tali platter, featuring over 45 items. Oh, jeepers. And finally, we'll witness the creation of an omelet using 250 eggs. We are here in Mumbai, India, looking for the biggest, baddest food, which has brought us now to Dakshi Nayan, where they're making the world-famous, world-record-breaking dosa. Let, let's go eat it. We're headed into the kitchen to see how this thing is made. Let's check it out. Right this way. Oh, it is busy in here. Right now I'm in the kitchen with the chef, Sarvan. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Today he's making this giant dosa here known as the family dosa. But today it's going to be made for a family of one right here, this guy. Let's do this. <laughs> This is freaking massive. That's like a meter long. I just realized some of you might not even know what a dosa is, so we're gonna jump to a different location and I'm gonna show you. We are at this street side dosa stand where they're making just a huge, crazy variety of dosa, one of which I'm about to get. A dosa is like a kind of crepe, but made with finely ground rice and lentil flour batter. It can be served plain like the giant dosa we're about to try, or with an endless variety of topping combinations. Do you want shredded beetroot? Go ahead. How about potato? We can do that too. Or how about American chop suey dosa? Let's see what that is. So right away, he's gonna come <laughs> with the batter. Then some cabbage, spring onion, onion. Oh, this thing is loaded up, but so far, so good. And then the nudes. We're dropping some noodles, tomato sauce, Szechuan sauce, red chili powder, chara masala, salt, tomato chutney, and a heaping scoop of butter. And that's what I like to see. Oh, butter. A lot of butter mm -hmm. on, on almost everything I've seen here. It's amazing. All this random stuff that hopefully together is gonna mm -hmm. taste amazing. Let's ask these does. guys over there. But yeah. Yeah, all right. <laughs> it's bubbling up. You can see the little bubbles in slow motion right now. It's making you hungry. You're salivating. You're clicking the like button. You're subscribing. This is the most important part yeah, here. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. A flip and a chop, and he's going to toss that right here. Yeah. And from there, mm -hmm. a couple sauces. We've got a coconut chutney and samba. And just like that, thank you, sir. Samba soup. Daddy likes samba. I'm cutting it up with a spoon. Getting a nice big scoop. Why? Gonna put it in our yeah. coconut chutney here. One of my favorite chutneys of all the chutneys. Let's try it out. Mmm. Yo. Buddy, ah. Yeah, buddy. Buddy, ah. Very nice. Mm -hmm. But that is a storm of heartburn. I could actually top this with some Pepto Bismol, and then it would be a perfect balance. The flavors are <laughs> outstanding. Tomatoey, peppery, and that dosa is like nice and kind of soft, bready, a little bready, a little crunchy on the outside. Mm. 
So now that we know what a dosa is, we're gonna go back and see the giant dosa. And now we're back. So that's what a dosa is, and this is a huge version of that right here. He's gonna be curling this. Now he's just slathering it with a bunch of butter. That's my favorite ingredient. Okay, so now he's he's rolling it up. Oh, what a move. <laughs> this thing is like a meter long. He's just rolled up the whole thing. Okay, this is the really sensitive part. It requires two plates. I'm following that guy. The moment has arrived Looks here, so finally, good. this yeah. gigantic dosa. This is just the plain dosa, but we've had some nice different assorted dipping sauces here. Tomato chutney, a coconut chutney, onion chutney, and then here, this is kind of a stew, mm -hmm. sambar. Or maybe I could dip the whole thing. And this is probably the most practical mm -hmm. way. You gotta put it in a little Soup. bit of sauce. What? <laughs> is this the right way to eat it? He was just like, take a piece off. No, that's not the way mm, to eat it. <laughs> that is terrific. I got some in my eye. It's like a giant crepe, but more crispy. Super buttery. Oh, <laughs> he was giving some butter love to this thing. I just wish it's a little unwieldy. It's kind of mm -hmm. hard to hold. <laughs> Perfect. That's so good. Mm. It's so flaky and crispy and buttery, and it just turns into nothing. You have to be careful with the chutney. Mm, Once in a while, you'll buttery, get one that's just yeah. like pure garlic and it'll, it'll choke you out. It's very nice. Light, refreshing, creamy, coconutty. This one I could eat with a spoon, it's so delicious. I'm gonna keep working on this, but let's go check out some more <laughs> giant food, huh? He's making a good Yeah. For sure. Next up, no, the like such a classy you will find yeah. in Mumbai. Our mission continues mm, looking for the so hugest good. food here in Mumbai, India, which brings us now to Mini Punjab's Lakeside Restaurant, where they are making a gigantic thali. Thali literally means Not very platter. Many. But when you mm -hmm. order the thali, here you get a gigantic assembly of different cups, bowls, plates of all kinds of different foods all together. Let's go inside and learn more about it. This place has food bloggers knocking down their doors, but I was lucky enough to get a behind the scenes look with the man who created this magnificent beast. Right now we are in the kitchen with Nishan, the creator of the giant tali, which is actually called the the Dara Singh Thali for you guys. Can you talk to me about this awesome platter? Definitely. Our giant Dara Singh Thali is basically a 26 to 28 inch Thali, okay? Mm. Which comes with more than 40 items, 45 to be precise. We've covered different cities, okay? From the northern region, mm -hmm. which is like Amritsar, Delhi, Rajasthan. And you get the favorite dishes from those cities. Our mm. head chef here is preparing the Murg Muslim rice. It's basically steam rice with a particular gravy which is called as Murg Muslim. So he's just added the chicken pieces as you see along with the spices. So this basically comes on a plate of steam rice along with the Murg Muslim as a gravy with chicken pieces served on top. This whole portion will be on the platter? Yes, yes. Like yes. this by itself already looks like it could be a whole meal. Definitely. If you can finish the entire platter, the thali, the non veg dara singh thali, it's free. And if I can eat the whole thing? Yes. It's going to be free? Exceptionally, yes. How, but how many normal people can this feed? Around four people. Four. Can I take down the whole platter, stick around to find out? Can we try this one now? Definitely, definitely. This is made fresh before our eyes. I cannot <laughs> wait. So yeah. I'm trying something right now, right here in the kitchen. A lot of pressure. There's about 20 people watching me right now. <laughs> Look at those guys over there. <laughs> hey, let's try it out. <laughs> oh. That is ridiculous. I mean, just taste the skill. Like the number of spices, spices in here correct. that work so well together just to together. create like a singular flavor. So amazing. And you can see right here, India just has such beautiful, vibrant spices, flavors, aromas everywhere you go. And especially right now in this kitchen. From here, we're going to see them assemble this giant tali. The assembly has begun, but you think Definitely. when it's done, you think I'll be able to take down the whole thing? I feel yes. Let's hope for the best. Okay. And see how great your appetite is. All right, let's see. Like At first glance, and with an empty stomach, different. taking yeah. down this platter in 20 minutes awesome. seems pretty yeah. doable. I mean, it's just some different breads, a bunch of curries, nope. and they're all served in these tiny bowls. Doable. And there's the chicken and rice and this. And this, I'm not feeling so sure anymore. They are right now putting the final touches and on the dali downstairs in the kitchen. Bread. We are yeah. waiting <laughs> for its entrance. Oh my God, <laughs> it's right here. Mm -hmm. It requires two people. <laughs> Do you guys need a hand? You got it? Oh, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me get out of your way. Oh, jeepers. 
Look at this. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, guys, good work. The main reason I came here was just to be able to sample a ton of different stuff, but it turns out this is also a food challenge. It's 1,600 rupees, so it's coming in just under $25. That seems like a pretty good value to me. If you can eat the whole thing, it's free. The only catch is you have to do it in under 20 yeah. minutes. Yeah. E easy. The rice here. The rice is the main issue. And then here, there's yeah, like another I'd rather just enjoy. Full of yeah. Rice. That's not for decoration. Easy. We need that. A couple other standout items here. We have a lamb curry yogurt. I love lamb. Oh. I love curry. I love <laughs> yogurt. I've too. never had all those things <laughs> together, but it's about dang time. So we're gonna see how much damage I can do in 20 minutes, starting the drinks right make now. You like so here we have a mutton really kebab. Mm -hmm. And if you're like me, like I didn't even know hard. what mutton was until I came here. And so lamb meat is called <laughs> lamb, and an adult. Lamb is called a sheep, and its meat is called mutton, and it's gonna go in my mouth. That's delicious. It's been a minute 30 already. I haven't done anything. So here we have a <laughs> mint chutney with coriander, Sorry, too. Like We're gonna put funny. our mutton in there. No, no damage. Mm. Nope. Oh, wow. That is powerful. Fresh, just salty, like, and then the this is. Get the whole thing on it and eat it. <laughs> yeah. Mm. It's just like drinking yogurt. Oh my god. How could anybody rush this meal? I can't. I just want to enjoy every bite. I do want to try my favorite kind of yogurt here. Of course, it is the lamb curry yogurt. Let's try that out. So enjoy it. Yeah. Oh, that's tremendous. It's like a little lamb meatball in there. Am I almost done? Oh, here we have some fried fish. It's looking a little spicy on the outside, <laughs> but let's find out. It's taking like four mm, bites. Gotta wash it down with some yogurt. We've got some delicious yeah, bread here. They have really every good. kind of curry here, except for Steph Curry. Really is this, spicy. what is this one? Is this a hot yeah. dog curry? Mm -hmm. Just kidding. If I made curries, I'd make a, a hot dog curry. Mmm. Five minutes have gone by. Oh, we're getting there. We're really, we're almost done. What is that? Somebody made a drink out of cucumber. <laughs> Almost done. Got okay, some chicken. That huge like cast iron pot, there. he wasn't only cooking the bread in there, but he put also inside the chicken. We're gonna put some of the chicken in this chutney now. Beautiful, yeah. but powerful. I need to chase it. Cut it with some rice. Okay, this is a soup, but it's in a cup so you can drink it. That's the best soup drink I've ever had. Here they have white butter. <laughs> I just wanna try the butter. <laughs> it's so creamy, it's almost like cheese flavored butter. We're gonna put some of this green curry on there, slap it all together, just get it all nice and sloppy on there. We're gonna roll it up like a little Indian burrito. Mm. Dip that into the yogurt. It's really tasty. Mm. Butter chicken, <laughs> onion, green chutney. We gotta Stop combine it all together. It. Mm. Oh my god. Almost done. Chicken biryani. Here we go. Amazing, it's so fragrant. We gotta, we gotta pick up speed. Oh, and here, they have pickled <laughs> chicken. Guys, they pickle mm, the chicken. This good. is that bread does. stuffed with potato. Okay, let's try this pickled chicken. Yeah. Wow, that is delicious. You gotta drink some yogurt with it though. Look at this, this bread is stuffed with potato. Stuffed this is potato. already yeah. like half a kilogram itself. Oh, there's so much I haven't even tried yet. Put it with the bread. <laughs> what is this? Oh man, mm. I'm full. <laughs> 17.30, it's almost over. Hey, thank God yeah. they have a time limit because I want to die already. So here we have kichidi, a mix of lentil, rice, and vegetables. This and a little rice is already a meal. Mm. Ooh, that's like savory, that's like comfort that food. Really, this comfort yeah. food is making me feel uncomfortable. I'm very mm -hmm. full. We have one minute remaining. We're still in the game. Guys, look, I can do this. There's a lot of food. I'm gonna try yeah, some of, really with good. the rice here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, that's very filling too. I've tried Still almost everything now. That's my um, fish. No way. Not okay, unless all the cameramen start eating. Mm -hmm. And even then, I don't think it. I can't do it. 20 it. minutes has gone by. Yeah. Now listen, I thought this was maybe possible when I just saw these little bowls of stuff. Oh, what is this? Is this more food? Yes. <laughs> I want to say thanks, but I also want to die right now. Is this part of the challenge? Yes. They brought in extra six dishes. I like that they thought I would even get close to finishing <laughs> like, this. Well, listen, um, we gave it our best try. <laughs> and so always remember, Ooh, chase your dreams. Next time you are in Mumbai, why don't you come really to does. Punjab Lakeside to try this whole feast for yeah. yourself. It's 1,600 rupees, it's under 25 bucks. So even if you fail, you still have enough food to bring home and eat for the rest of the week. That's not bad. No, not at all. It's delicious. Yeah. This is pretty dangerous, but uh, let's do it anyways. For today's last stop, we're hunting down an Indian mega omelet. We came to our final location, and here they're making a gigantic, basically like an Indian scrambled eggs. Okay, we've got uh, eggs, tomato, onion, and it's like, well, what's so special about this? Oh, I don't know, that there's gonna be over 250 eggs 
cooked at one time on the skillet right here behind That's me. The prep is yeah. underway. They're cutting onions, they're cutting tomatoes. We're gonna go inside and see exactly how it's done. My man right here, cutting onions. No goggles, no protective anything, and no tears. This is a, a real man. How do you do it, sir? How do you do it with no tears? Can you ask him? <laughs> He's just like, mm -mm -mm. no tears, not since 1984. He's saying it's the destiny. We asked him, why is he not crying? He said it's destiny. I like this guy. Tons of onions, like baskets of onions are gonna be cooked and put into the eggs. Let's see what else is going on here. So here we have the tomato cutting. In this room, in the kitchen, they have two giant skillets. Ooh, and it's good. somewhere between like a wok and a flat top. It's called a tawa. And there's two of them here. As you can see, this is no small cooking operation. Like, they go big here. So this is like 20 kilograms, like almost 40 pounds of onion and around 10 pounds of tomato. That's what I'm told. And this whole thing is gonna cook down. They've just put in all these spices, chili powder. He continues to just mix it all together. There's some parts of the onion that hasn't even touched the grill. Thank you for having us here. Nice to meet you. Oh, this is the owner of the shop. What is this one called? Andabuji. An Andabuji. Andabuji. Eggbuji. He's cooked down the onion and tomato, and then he's going to crack just tons and tons of eggs in here. That is some mad egg cracking skills. One handed. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Can you get it? Can you get it? <laughs> ah, that On egg camera. was tricky. I know. The first, like, maybe 30% of the eggs are in here. <laughs> And you he has that, started yeah. scrambling them together with some of the onions and tomatoes. There's still that like ring on the outside, keeping everything in. He's created this natural bowl, and I believe he's going to put in even more eggs now. Yeah, round two. Can I crack one egg? Can I, I just want to say that I helped. That's all. I basically made it myself. Ta-da! Oh, again? I got to try one hand. <laughs> Come on, get out of there. <laughs> you gotta Damn. spread your fingers. Yes, look at this. It looks yeah. ridiculous. Time to destroy the beauty. That's After the first crazy. step is done, he starts mashing smaller portions of eggs. He then adds more butter, spring onion, and spices. You can just smell the fumes coming off here. It's singeing thy nostrils. Then more mashing with fresh cilantro. Finally, it's a moment I've been waiting for. Oh, thank you, sir. But the eggs aren't complete mm. without some buttered buns. We were just in that kitchen for about 30 minutes during that yeah. whole preparation. Actually, my eyes are, are still watering a little bit from all the spices and onion, but it was all worth it because we have this complex yet simple, wonderfully executed scrambled eggs I've ever seen. I'm gonna try it with just the eggs first. Yeah, it looks really good. Who gave him a spoon? Oh, yeah, I mean, seriously. That is That makes me happy in my mouth. Super salty and spicy. These are some of the spiciest scrambled eggs I have ever had. He fried and buttered this bread for me. That's really how you're supposed to eat this. You just scoop up some of these pieces of egg. Look at that, you can see the chilies yeah. in there. Yeah, there you go. From the oil, the butter, all of it coming together. Let's try it out. Yum. Yeah, it looks delicious. That is amazing. That's, you know, it's kind of a simple thing. You know, it's simple whole foods, it's eggs, it's scrambled eggs and bread, but the seasoning the, and the care, love, and skill that went into it, it makes it super special. Exactly. Um, crazy delicious. All I can say is, but yeah, oh, so Thanks. good. It's so good. Thank you. That looked so yummy. It looks so good. All of it. All of it looked yummy. Yeah. I mean, I just want like a mini plate of everything, like right here. It looks yeah. so good. Yeah. We're going to have to figure out how to make dosas. How to make dosas, yeah. Yeah. And how to make those, like, potato stuffed. Potato stuffed, yeah, non bread. Yeah. So we watched in a different video it looked like they stuff it inside and then roll it out, mm -hmm. which I didn't know. So um, these food videos are definitely giving us lots of ideas. Yeah. So maybe we can make some vlogs of us making some dosas. That'd be and, awesome. Um, some of these lovely, yummy dishes. But nothing's as good as going to India and trying all this yummy food, yeah. right? Yeah, I'd rather go there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that platter, though, mm, that looked looks so good. amazing. Yeah. I mean, everything looks amazing. Yeah. The eggs, too. Like you said, it's, like, simple food, but yet so good. Yeah, but I wonder, like, for the challenge, like, does it only have to be, like, one person, or can you have, like... No, only one person. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, Anji. There's no way. For one, you'd want to enjoy it all. I do. I like to sandwich my food. Like he said, and he said it in one of his other videos, like, 
Indian food is definitely very filling. So between the yeah. butters and the yogurts and the rices and the breads, like you get full pretty quickly from it. Yeah, you'd be lucky if you could try a little bit from that entire platter and not like feel full. And then he got dessert, which was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it looks amazing. So one of the many... So we have three new places we need to try when we go to Mumbai. Yeah. At least. And I'm sure you guys could tell us in the comments below many more places we could try. Um, We're not coming anytime soon. But when we we do come, we will let you know. I know. But school and work and... Summer. Yeah. And the flight... The flight ticket we know is really expensive to get there. So... But one of these days... Um, maybe this year or next year, hopefully yeah. we'll make it and we'll get to try all these yummy things that Anji and I have been, um, yeah. drooling over. But in um, the process, yeah. we should try making some. Yeah. Right? What would be the first thing you would make? Dosa. Yeah. I think we should try that first. We'll have to ask Auntie. Yeah. How would, how to, how to do it right. Right? Yeah. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as we did and it made your mouth water and made you hungry as it made us. And uh, we'll hopefully see you again soon. We'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. Bye.